Here's a hypno shroom. The zombie that eats that will turn around and start eating zombies in its path. Alright, what do we want here? No need for the fume shroom. Oh, football zombie. Okay, so if you click on a zombie that is appearing for the first time in the level you're about to play, it will show up here, but there will be no entry for it. Which makes sense, you don't know what a zombie does until it's actually been in play, so to speak. So you want to use the Hypno Shrooms on the more powerful zombies. And it's sort of a delicate balance when you use them. On one hand, you don't want to use them too early because then the zombie will have hardly anywhere to go before it gets to the edge of the screen and just disappears. On the other hand, you don't want to use it too late because then, if you have any other defenses in your row, which you probably will, the zombie will be beaten up and that damage will mean that the zombie is less effective in fighting for you. Because the zombie doesn't get, you know, all its hit points refilled when you, you turn it to your side. The football zombies are... zombies are... I think they're as tough as Buckethead zombies and, like, twice as fast. So, yeah, they don't mess around, and you should not mess around with them. Or rather, you should not mess around when they are coming at you. say such profound things as expired. In other words, stuff you wouldn't ac ever actually see in a cemetery. But this is a silly game, so we can expect things like that. just eats the headstone. Uh-oh, okay. So here's how you use a hypno shroom. Now I hope another zombie will actually come. Otherwise that zombie's just gonna be running off into the, well, not sunset, because it's already nighttime. Yeah, well, if that zombie had encountered another zombie, then they would start eating each other, and whoever had more hit points would keep going. Well, the other one got eaten. Which is why you want to hypnotize zombies that have lots of hit points. Like the football zombies. I keep choosing walnuts, but I'm not using that many of them. Well, they're always nice to have, you know, if you don't have enough defense at all. Again, I'm probably repeating myself. Like now. There you go. Two on that. All right, at the end already. Oh, I have not been doing my great busting duty. Here, half that. Uh-oh. Okay, this is not good. Okay, that was bad. So, you know what? That's bad. Okay, all not here. Then I'll just bomb the other guy. I get the 
Son. Son. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, you think you did. Okay. Alright, this is a scaredy shroom. It is exactly like a pea shooter, except that it's a mushroom, which means it's nocturnal, and... Also, if a zombie gets within one square of it in any direction, it will no longer shoot because it is too scared. But the benefit is that it costs a lot less. Okay. What do I want here? I may have to dispense with the repeaters this time around. No, you know what? I'm going to take a repeater. Okay, yeah, I think this should work. Well, these levels are actually going back pretty quickly. Lots of graves here. Wonderful. Anyway, you want to put these scaredy shrooms in back of other plants because you don't want the zombies getting close to them. Like, even if it's in another row but it's only one column away, then the mushroom will stop firing. So I'm going to get started with puff shrooms, and then I'm going to go to scaredy shrooms, fume shrooms, and if I have enough sun, I probably will, because this level is too flex. Um, I'll go to repeaters eventually. Right now, repeaters are pretty much the standard. And, well, for my strategy, they'll they'll stay that way throughout the game. You know, the good thing about the Scary Shroom is that it has the same range as a pea shooter. Okay, I really would have liked to find it. Okay, I don't have to choose. So I'm having, I'm, I have three rows of attack plants, or three columns of attack plants, rather. Especially once I get this grave out of the way. Already a conehead. They're not wasting their time this, this level. Yeah, only the scary shroom is firing at first, but now it's gotten within range of the puff shrooms as well. Okay, but our offense is in every row now. Good like, thank you. It's all good if you shrooms here. Screen door zombies are probably not far. So you'll notice that if you have a a uh, fume shroom right behind a puff shroom, like in the next column to the left, they'll start firing, or they should start firing at about the same time, because the fume shroom's range is one longer, one square longer.
Okay, so my garden handled that wave pretty easily. For the next wave, I'm going to give it a bit more firepower. And a bit, of le bit less scariness. So I think just 10 hits from a fume shroom will get rid of a spring noise on me. I wasn't counting, but I think that's the case. Alright, repeater installment is almost finished. These levels will definitely get more complicated. In fact, they're going to get more complicated fairly soon. Like when I get to the next area, like past 210 and into 3 1. See, they're getting kind of close to my front plants, but they're not quite getting there. Not even the stronger ones. This one may, since there's no. Oh no, no, the lack of repeater won't matter because Fume Shroom will just kill. Alright, this is looking better than it did in terms of skipping. I just hope we didn't get audio desync here, or I hope I didn't get audio desync. Look at this guy. <laughs> he shakes his fist. Sometimes a zombie will do that when you get rid of it. And another room of mushrooms can't hurt. Another room. Another column. Also can't hurt to have all graves busted. Just in time. Hmm, they're not bringing up more graves. Look at the end of the level. Nope. Too late. Well, at least those two zombies should can't be put This guy, on the other hand, is going to be a problem. usually dig up my sun generating plants, but this is the very end of the level, so... Okay, just got it. Now, if I'd been on time with that hypnoshroom, that guy would have been no problem. So this is basically like uh, the stopwatch in Super Mario Bros. 2. <laughs> Is pretty much that effect. Ah, and here we get the first appearance of the dancing zombie. Those of you familiar with the game, or with the different versions of the game, will know now that I have an older version of the game. Uh, let's see. No, I don't need these guys. All right. these guys, when one of them comes along, uh, he'll uh, summon a bunch of backup dancers. And he'll keep summoning backup dancers, if you get rid of them, until you get rid of the lead one. The newer versions of the game use like a disco zombie, but I have one of the older versions, so I get the Michael Jackson zombie. They changed it right after Michael Jackson died. Although, if you think about it, it would have been even more appropriate to have him as a zombie after he died. Which is probably why they, uh, didn't do it. Now, 
Puff Shroom can just get a normal zombie. And the, the next normal zombie probably would get eaten before it got him. Of course, that is Dirty Shroom in back of it, and you have no problem. excited, but it does make me as excited. And for those of you wondering, yes, I am American. I am not Canadian. Although I do think Canadians are cool. Okay, what now? I will demonstrate a nice shrew. Okay, here's a dancing zombie. I'm going to hypnotize the dancing zombie. He will now eat his backup dancer. And will he summon backup dancers for me? Yes, he will. Yes, dancing zombies are very good to hypnotize. Make sure you get the leader and not one of the backups, because the backups will not summon more backups. whack a zombie level, I try to get the graves closest to the house first. Nom, nom, nom. If it was really eating the grave, it would have to eat, like, the, the dead body inside it. Like I said, <laughs> cease to exist. Like I said, it really only eats the head still. Oh, that's the only flag. I did not realize that zombies would be coming out of the grave. Okay, let's freeze things for a moment. Now, while the zombies are frozen, the plants can just wail on them. Which, of course, is a good thing. Is the leader gone? Yes, the leader is gone. This is a very cool plant. Doom Shroom. This is your, uh, this is your nuke. Um, it will blow up a whole bunch of zombies. If you plant it in the middle row, it will blow up zombies in every row. Uh, Okay, hmm, there are a lot of plants that could be useful here. I think this should be a pretty good balance. Unfortunately, no scaredy shrooms, so no range, no long range plants right at the beginning. Um, anyway, the drawback of a, whoa, that's a lot of graves. Eleven if I count correctly. Um, yeah, I'm not leaving an extra space here because I don't need to plant the scaredy shrooms in the back. Or I'm not going to. The drawback of a doom shroom is that it leaves a crater. And you can't plant anything in that crater. The crater will eventually disappear, allowing you to plant it there again. But, um, in this version I believe it takes two minutes. Uh, after one minute it'll appear partially filled, and then after two minutes it will be filled. Um, 
I think in a late in, in the version I saw NCS playing it took three minutes, so maybe that was changed from version to version. Or maybe I'm just remembering wrong. Maybe it is three minutes in this version too. But you know how things like that can change between versions. I noticed, you know, whenever you, you download an update for StarCraft or you know, one of those games, they'll tweak the unit costs or something. My brother said he got StarCraft 2. Um, I would get it, but the main worry, other than, you know, that I have no money, is that I'm worried my computer might not be able to run it. But his computer is older than mine, and it runs the game, so maybe mine would run it. I was never much of a multiplayer StarCraft person because the, my main computer, like, the one that I owned for a long time was not connected to the internet. Then when I did try, I would just get pwned because I would never be able to get my forces ready quickly enough. But I did like, I always liked the single player campaign. Peter's in here, where should I put the first one? Well, that is an easy choice. So, yeah, like I was saying, eliminate the graves that are further to the left, that is closer to your house, and eliminate the graves where there are several in the same row. He's taking three damage per round, if you want to call it that. Should be gone soon. It's actually going by more quickly than I thought it would. I think the later daytime levels were taking longer than this. Of course, the levels will get longer in general. Um, in later videos, I may be only doing three or two or levels, or even one level per video. Because you really can't do much to speed up a level. The zombies will only come at you so quickly. And really, you don't want them coming at you any more quickly, because then that just would make things more tough. More difficult for you. More tough. I was going to say more difficult and then going to say tougher. Okay. Huge wave coming, but zombies will not come from the graves. Uh, sometimes I don't take advantage of my mushrooms as much as I should. I mean, of the fact that they don't cost anything. Alright, this one, yeah, that one should have fun. I love the way the music changes when there are a lot of zombies on the screen. This is my favorite phase of the game, of the, of the five, like, level types. This is my favorite type. Hmm, lots of minerals. You know what? Screw the future. I'm just gonna get rid of the doors. Like, there's a finesse way to kill the guys, and then there's just the screw it, I'm gonna pummel you with a whole bunch of peas way. You have this many plants in one row, then they're going to get rid of zombies pretty quickly. Like, 
even the stronger zombies will not take very long well to go down. Of course, if there are a whole lot of them, then that might be a problem. Especially since a zombie that's been destroyed will hang around for a couple seconds blocking your plant shot. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but um, once you start getting money in a level, each lawnmower left at the end will turn into a gold coin, which is $50. So it's not that much for each lawnmower, but if you don't use them up, you will be getting a little more money than other ones. Alright, last grave. I should have used a doom shroom earlier so that I could see how long a crater lasted. I'm not going to get to do that now. I can still demonstrate its awesome power, though. Music is even cool when you can actually hear the bass line. Unfortunately, because of the way I record, I can't bring you guys that experience. Doom! I love that. <laughs> and they left a note. 